hello welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing amazing today so this collective reading is specifically for if your name starts with an n so we're gonna hop right into it before we do go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel if you wanted to win a free personal reading in order to do so you just have to send a picture of your username and subscription to the channel over to earthangel 111 tarot at gmail.com and so this reading is specifically tailored for if your name starts with an N or your person that you're dealing with's name starts with an N. So we're going to do love messages from your person, any messages from spirit that come out. They're all kind of mixed in together. And then we'll finish with a collective reading. So let's start and see what comes out. And thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully you are able to take a message out of this reading. Whoa, okay. So they just flew right out. So specifically, you could be an Aries or dealing with one. We've got smile, so that is really beautiful. Your person wants you to smile more, or this is spirit saying, just smile. And, and for others, this could be something that people are really drawn to about you, is your smile in specific. So it says, I love you so much. So there's a message from your person letting them know how much they love you. Then we've got, I am scared to show you how much I really care about you. I think I'm falling in love with you. So that's really beautiful. So if you've recently met someone or been dealing with someone that hasn't fully revealed their emotions for you yet, this is their subtle way of letting you know. Now we've got no one can take your place. Beautiful. So you guys may want to check out the short I just posted because two of these messages came up together, the smile and a new addition to the family. So really interesting to see. So soon, either you or someone you know will be expecting a new member to the family. Congratulations. And remember, if you're unable to have children or it's not something you're thinking of, fur babies count too. Adoption counts too. But it looks like either you or someone around you. Message from your person says, you inspire me to be a better person every day. Thank you for that. Really beautiful. Another message here we've got from your person says, I'm going to come forward soon. I'm just scared to say or do the wrong thing. So look at these back to back. Your person really just feeling like they have so much emotion for you, but they may have not ever said that they love you yet. This could be something new between you and your person. So it says, I had a dream about you recently. Do you ever dream of me? All right, so let's get some messages here with a collective reading to clarify. So it seems like you're dealing with someone new and this person is constantly in their head about the connection between the two of you. They have a lot of dreams about you and possibly feel really restricted when it comes to this connection. So you could be dealing with someone who's really trying to sort out their life right now. It's like they could have been involved in another long-term relationship or they're just feeling like they're having a midlife crisis. Like nothing is going right in their life according to the plan they possibly had set out for themselves. King of Pentacles in reverse. So your person could be dealing with working on their finances at this current moment in time. You could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or you, you could be dealing with one. And also we've got some Earth energy, so Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Now double Aries energy here, and we've got Leo, Sag with this Ace of Wands. But see, your person feels like you're their guiding person out of this storm. Like they've got themselves in some sort of stuck position in life, lack of finances, lack of happiness, but they feel like you're the one person guiding them out of that dark space maybe they created for themselves. So possibly could be dealing with someone who really kind of went into their lower vibration, into their shadow self and look at, so for a long time, the person you were dealing with, they ran away from love. They ran away from their emotions and it looks like they even ran away from like day-to-day -day responsibilities but when you came into their life, you kind of opened up their eyes to the fact that like the life they were living was just really not benefiting them in any way. So maybe this person was someone who was constantly overspending, could have had to do with the lack of finances there, you know, just not being frugal with their money as well. Like you could be dealing with someone who has the means when it comes to finances, but they overspend, they spend carelessly, they don't invest, they just spend based on the moment. So someone who loves to go on trips or possibly designer clothes, cars, stuff like that, and not really thinking about putting savings away for their future, the moon. So all of this has yet to be revealed. 
This person hasn't let you know yet everything that's going on in their life. So this could be something that they're hiding from you as well. Possibly that they spend out of their means or, you know, they could act very financially balanced, but really in the background, they're really having a hard time. Wow, tower moment. So this is going to create a tower moment when you come to realize that the person you're dealing with, however they portrayed themselves to be to you, isn't truly who they are or isn't truly what they're going through. This person's trying to hide it from the world or trying to hide it at least from you. And this is the illusion that they've created. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Pisces. And we've got some air energy along with cups, fire, and earth. So we've got all the signs on the board. King of Cups and Page of Cups. Look at that. So also message here, this person kind of comes off as they're very mature and grounded and emotionally available. But in reality, they're a bit immature, a bit emotionally unbalanced and still kind of growing and learning it's like this person could be a little bit immature when it comes to their finances or you know just like being expressive with their emotions now the beautiful thing is this person feels like you are the one person that's able to pull this all out of them so they feel like they've learned a lot from you collective whether you realize this or not wow so the seven of wands just flew out so you could be in specific a fire sign feminine, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Definitely feel the Aries energy there. Drop a comment if your name does start with an N or if you are an Aries female specific. This reading is literally called to you right now, ladies. So seven of wands, even if you are a masculine energy, this person really views you as someone who is spiritually awoken, balanced. You could be someone who's very much so into yoga, fitness, meditation, and this person that you're dealing with just feels like they have so much to learn from you when it comes to how you deal with living life. They feel truly inspired by the way you're able to manage your life in such a peaceful and calm way. And it could be something opposite as to what this person is, right? Ten of Cups in reverse too. It could be like this person never lived their life for them. They were always people pleasing and they see you fully into that self-love, fully into nurturing yourself and your relationships around you. And most importantly, they see you as someone who is connected to divine. So that's really beautiful. I also get the sense that the person you're dealing with could be someone who wasn't previously spiritual or awoken in a sense that they didn't feel like they had a connection to divine. And upon meeting you, they're starting to figure out that maybe they do. Now, a few more messages for you guys here. There's something that you're very passionate about. Spirit wants you to pursue it. This is something you've been passionate about since you were younger. It could be makeup, hair. For others of you, it's something more creative and artistic. Maybe even actually painting or drawing. And for some of you, possibly an interest in being a tattoo artist. If any of those careers or messages there just resonated with you, Spirit is saying to jump in. This is your go-ahead from Spirit. It's time for you to really put the passion back into your life. Because when you do that too, you're actually inspiring this other person who's been stuck in a rut for so long on how they can really improve their own life. So just realize you're almost like a guiding mentor to this person that you're dealing with. Whether or not you realize this or want to accept that role, Spirit's kind of given you that role and as has this person. So there you are feeling a little bit like you're alone at this current moment, like you're misunderstood by others, but not realizing how many people are truly looking up to you. And so if you feel like you're very vocal about your spirituality or your particular beliefs about, you know, treating others with kindness and respect, and especially when it comes to love, maybe you have an unconditional love for this person in particular or unconventional beliefs when it comes to love, spirit is saying that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Realize that you are not different and in a bad way because it's like, you know, everyone's different and... The fact that you're able to tap into that and to truly be authentically you, even if it feels lonely sometimes, know that it is one of your strengths, not your weakness by any means. Now, specifically, one more message from Spirit here. You've been running away from a particular resolution when it comes to a friendship or a family member that possibly gave you a hard time in the past to do with your spirituality Spirit is saying if you know that there was someone that kept going against you or your beliefs, they want to return and they want your forgiveness. And it looks like you could be the person running away from them now saying, no, you've had enough. Spirit's saying allow them back in, allow for that forgiveness because 
this person's actually inspired by you. And so even though you feel kind of outcasted or alone in how you stand or move in the world, realize that in the background, there's way more people than you realize that are truly inspired by you and by your ability to authentically be yourself. So this reading is specific for those names who start with an N or if you're dealing with someone whose name starts with an N, definitely leave a comment if this resonated. It's all about you and trusting your path and accepting that even if you are very spiritual and you have others around you who don't understand it, they'll come around. And hey, everyone's allowed to have their own perspectives and beliefs. But when you have that deep inner knowing of who you are, that's what draws others in. And that's definitely what drew this other person that you're dealing with in with you. And you inspire them to be their authentic self, whether you realize this or not. So go ahead and like the video and subscribe. And if you wanted to leave a donation to the channel, that information is left below. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have an amazing day.